Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel, and this is a little uh, talk about um, who is now getting the May 2020 update uh, pushed at them. Well, if you're on version 1809, that is the October 2018 update. That version, of course, was supposed to uh, have end of support in May, but because of COVID-19, Microsoft has pushed the date to November. So they uh, actually gave uh, an extra six months to the operating system to live. Uh, but still, starting this week, Microsoft acknowledged that they are now pushing the May 2020 update to people on 1809. So that means that you will have it, whether you like it or not, because it uh, will replace a operating system, a Windows 10 version that is almost, uh, you know, it's going to be end of support in a few months time. So, uh, of course, not everybody's going to see it first. But as they're rolling it out, you will actually have it. So, um, you know, we talk about how Windows 10, is it forced on you or not? You know, like if you're on the May 2019 or November 2019 update, you're not forced to go to the May 2020 update for now. But because 1809 is typically uh, getting end of support, because for users, for consumers, uh, Windows 10 has, uh, each version has 18 months of life cycle. So because 1809 is now nearing its, uh, its life cycle, it's actually going to have you know 24 months in this case, uh, they are starting to push you to the latest version. That's what happens usually, is if you are on a version that is about to expire, you are getting the latest version to replace it. Uh, the good news about that is if you move on from 1809 to the May 2020 update, you will be okay for a year and a half before you have to think about moving to something else again. So at least you'll have that period of time where you don't have to install the you know, November cumulative update or you don't have to install 21H1 when it arrives next year. Uh, it's only going to be later next year that you'll have uh, to start thinking about things. So it's going to give you a kind of a relaxed time. So, um, 18.09, don't be surprised if you are forced upgrading because this is what happens. And don't worry, for most people that upgrade, the upgrade goes fine. If you have one of the blocking bugs, you are not seeing this. So, if it doesn't show up yet on 18.09 for you, that means there's something that Microsoft still... Uh, is something is still isn't right for you to have it basically and Microsoft knows about it so just uh, you know for the most part this is uh, gonna be okay if you um, enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching